In the 2015 season, the Hopkinton Hillers softball team went undefeated in the TVL and finished 19-1 and overall. The Hillers reached the quarterfinals of the South Division I bracket, and this year, many players have returned for the squad, hoping to get back to the postseason. The Hillers will be led defensively by pitcher Bree Mirabli, while first-year head coach Kylie Murray and first-year assistant coach Bruce Elliott look to continue the success of the Hillers softball program. So uh, first off, first year as head coach, uh, can you talk about your past experience and how you ended up becoming a head softball coach here at Hopkinton? Sure. So I actually started as a player in the HHS right next door. So that's where my background came from. And that was my first opportunity to coach softball as the assistant at Halston, assistant varsity coach. Um, then I went on to assist at Westboro. And then when I started here as a counselor in 2009, 2010, Coach Simos was looking for sub-varsity coaches. So I coached with Coach Simos for a while in this program. Um, learned a great deal from him and had a really good time. I then kind of switched gears to focus more on volleyball because I coached that over at Westboro. And then this year an opportunity came about with the sport that I love the most and oh I shouldn't have said that for Westboro. I really like volleyball too. But it came it came to be an opportunity to get back to the sport at, let's say that I know best and really am passionate about. So it was a no brainer, especially working at Hopkinton and knowing these girls and what an awesome crew I had already. It was an easy decision. All right, excellent. Now uh, how have the practices gone so far? We've had some wild weather. Is it interfering with getting ready for the season at all? No, I mean, I came in, I know that. I grew up here. I know what softball in New England is. I know what, you know, you can pretty much bank on preseason being longer than the schedule says. So we're doing the best we can inside. It is tough teaching new concepts when you can't be on the field so they can see it and, you know, rounding a flat base that slips on the, the, the court as opposed to a base that's out there to really push off of. But they're handling it really well. Um, it's given me a really good opportunity to see what we're working with. We've got a lot of new faces on the team. and. Most of them are new to me entirely, so we made the most of it. All right, now, uh, Coach, this is also really your first year with the program. It's my first year, and first year in softball in general. I've, I've coached at a uh, pretty high level for baseball, uh, so it's been a, a little bit of an adjustment just with the game and the distance of the bases and <laughs> the, uh, the, the fact that there's an underhand <laughs> pitcher out there uh, throwing. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, it's, been a, it's been a good adjustment. It's been fun. The girls are great, as uh, Coach Murray said. Uh, they got a lot of talent, uh, which is great, on top of the willingness to, uh, to come out every day and work hard. So, yes, it's tough indoors right now, but we'll get outside here pretty quick and uh, really start putting together uh, a, a sound team. And, been, and a team yeah. that's going to challenge for not only the TBL, but for the, the state playoff runs. Yeah. So. It's been actually a lot of fun playing off one another because I think we bring totally different things to this, but it's just really good. You know, I can be kind of the translator for Coach Elliott's yeah. terminology, you know, and, and he's teaching me a lot about raising the bar um, on what we can work for, you know. So I think it's been a great matchup. Now, a lot of great uh, returning players this year as well from last year's undefeated team in the uh, TVL. Uh, could you talk about what some of the strengths are of this particular team this year? Sure. Well, I'll tell you, I had the opportunity to meet with the captains before. I met with the whole group before tryouts, and what struck me the most is how focused they are on one another and making this a great year for everyone in the program, not even just the varsity squad. They've been doing a lot to reach out to the underclassmen. They're talking a lot about their expectations, and they're coming up with team expectations, and I love that. So they're really committed to one another and looking at it as a new season, a new coach, a new year, and we don't have a starting lineup set. We don't know what it is, so everyone is working really hard. And what I like the most is that they are trying to figure out how they can best support the team. So maybe they've been playing in a position for a couple of years. They recognize that they might need to be somewhere else to help our team. Um, and they've really accepted that and are really focused on that. All right, Coach, anything you want to add? Um, I just I have to second what Coach Murray says, that uh, we don't have a set lineup yet. We're, we're, we're still trying to find out strengths and weaknesses and, and, and improve on those, those weaknesses too as well at the same time. Uh, we're putting a lot of new systems in, if you will, and the terminology is probably the biggest thing that uh, we're, we're, we're adjusting to right now. So I think uh, as soon as we get outside, that's going to be where the light bulbs go off and the, the level of play starts to really jump and increase. So I think we're going to be, I know we're going to be much different at the end of the season versus where we are right now. And uh, girls are going to be pleasantly surprised by the time we get there. All right, well, we're looking forward to the season. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. Thank